Tonight we're heading down to Brighton Pier. Jesse and I were sitting at work and we had a bit of a whim. Said, all right, there's a snapper getting caught everywhere. Let's go catch one. Well, we've been saying that for a couple of weeks and it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, you see on Facebook, snappers are here, snapper there, people catching them. But you're looking at, you know, 50,000 people going out there trying to catch a snapper and you see 20 reports. So, you know, you can go to all these spots and try really hard, but you don't always come up with the goods. We've been out probably 10 times, I'd say. Um, not just fishing for snapper, but that's been on the on the menu and we haven't been able to catch one So let's hope tonight's our night heading down to Brighton Pier So I'm hoping just to get a nice pinky or one or two pinkies off the pier. That'd be great So we'll we'll just uh, see where this journey takes us I guess Okay, we've just gotten down to Brighton Pier and it's blowing a very strong southerly The pier's absolutely packed the whole way down from start to finish So we're pretty much fishing right at the start because we don't really want to get in anyone's way um, We've got uh, some eating glazed pilchards from Gotcha and I've got some squid. I figured, you know, that's the two main bait they sort of eat around here, so we're gonna have a crack. I didn't bring any silver white in though, which I'm spewing now, but anyway. Um, so we'll see how we go with what we've got and uh, I'll let uh, Jesse get off his camera and start rigging up. These are the eating glazed pilchards. They've got a full ice coating right over them. When that defrosts, the pilchards are like brand new underneath. Every time we've used them, they've just stayed pristine and they don't fall off your hook. So that's what we're going to be using tonight. They're a bit big, so I might even just cut the ends of the head off just to give them a bit of short and put a bit of scent in the water while we fish. Look at that, rock hard. So I'll let a few of these bad boys defrost and I might bang a bit of squid out to start. Yeah, so guys, I really do apologise about the wind. I know it's really bad, but unfortunately there's not a lot we can do about it when we're out here on piers and, you know, your microphone's on your camera. There's not much you can do. It's not as if we're sitting in a boat with a cabin or anything like that. So, if we catch a fish, it's going to be all worth it. Coffee. Yeah. Guys, have a look at this mug, would ya? Have a look at that thing he's got in. What'd you kill a possum and shove it on your head? No, a beaver. A be <laughs> think, what, you go to America? Yeah. <laughs> well, Melbourne Zoo, if we got a beaver missing in the zoo, it's on Jesse's head. It's all about comfort. Mate. <sighs> what am I gonna do with this guy? It does look warm, I must admit. Fish don't judge on looks. So, on a serious note, Jesse. Yeah. Land based snapper. When they come in the bay, there's millions of them. But I wouldn't say they're a very easy thing to catch land based. No, they're a picky fish. They have very specific feeding times yes. when they're in close, which makes it hard because usually when it is that specific feeding time, there's a thousand other people there. <laughs> well, that's so. exactly right. Well, come September, this pier is absolutely packed. We're still in mid August, so this is why we're here early, trying to get that snapper before everyone comes down here. But who knows? We may not get it. We may have to come down here with the crowds, mate. So you might have to join in the lottery. Yes. Well, that's exactly what it is too, it's a lottery, because you is. 50 guys on a pier and three or four people catch a fish, which is what happened to us last year and we weren't lucky enough to be in that lottery. While we're in it, we just weren't lucky to win it. <laughs> but anyway, well, we've got our bait soaking and that's all we can do. It's a funny thing you say about the biting times of the snapper, because I found when I was a young fella fishing off Mordialli Pier, they'd only bite between six and seven o'clock at night. So, I mean, every pier and every location is going to have its, what you call the code. You've got to yeah. un unlock the code. So that's what we're trying to do now. We've been down here enough to know when certain things are biting and when they're not. Pretty so. much, yeah. It's um, a long time to figure out. It is. But we enjoy it and that's why we do it. If 
we were here for the fish, we would have quit a long time ago. <laughs> we definitely would have gone hungry. I was just doing a bait check on my rod, and I thought I must have hooked over to my other rod. And I hadn't. I actually had a bite. I saw my line go slack, so I thought I'd better grab it. I don't know what it is. Very hard to tell. It's not very big, whatever it is. But I think it's it's a little pinky. A little snapper. There you go. Well, well done, boys. Thanks, mate. That's what we came here for. It's the start of the little guys. Gotta be careful because I've got a couple of hooks here. Put me right over here. Yeah, he's only little, and I'm definitely not going to keep him. He's probably a resident bay snapper, but you never know. It is the time of year for him to start coming in. But that's what we're here for. We just want to upsize on this little guy. He's more like a brim. See, if he was a brim, I'd be a very happy man, because that's a good size for a brim, which I do believe snapper are related to the brim. But uh, usually when they come in from Bass Strait, they've got the beautiful blue color spots in them. I don't know if you can see it on camera there, but those beautiful blue green spots. The blue around the eye. Very hard to pick it up on camera sometimes. But anyway, that's a good sign. And that has that is what we've been waiting for for the past past few weeks that we've been coming down. So and that's our first one. So persistence. Anyway, he's got to go back because he's he's way too small. Just gotta get his bearings. Off he goes. It's good. Very happy. 